Hello and welcome to Live to Hustle again. It's Jonas here. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you want to be in the know about any new videos coming out. And uh, be sure to hit the bell so you know exactly the moment a new video comes out, you're directly notified. Um, so we just talked on the previous video about uh, like what you need to know about Grubhub for like a few things like such as uh, the schedule, such as uh, what to expect. Uh, this is a continuation. This is a part two. I just wanted to make the videos a little bit shorter so uh, that way people don't get bored or depressed or whatever. So uh, just bear with me. Um, now, in the previous video, we talked about uh, going online, going offline, the schedule, of course, and uh, the program levels. Of course, these are these are important things that you know affect every Grubhub driver, and those are things that I wanted you guys to know so that way uh, you know you keep in mind those important things and be more successful, especially uh, you know like within the first few weeks of course that way you can pass it on for weeks and months to come so we went over that um now uh you know for program level so like we talked about what you need to be on a certain program level like uh, you know the acceptance rate attendance uh block drop and so um now let's go to we're going to be going to another tab right here it's uh region boundaries um so Grubhub has regions and then this is like a boundary of, you know, my region, of course, and anything that's, you know, in the lighter color, you know, outside of the shade inside inside of here, but not in the shade. That's the region I'm assigned to do Grubhub. So um, there are some cities, of course, or some very large cities. Uh, there's areas that there's Grubhub in the suburbs and uh, of course, like if you're like, let's say, for example, maybe you're in Denver and you have your Grubhub area covers that it may not cover some of the outer areas like Colorado Springs or maybe Boulder, for example. So uh, that's kind of one of the only downsides I have about Grubhub in, in comparison to Uber Eats and DoorDash. And I do uh, those platforms as well, uh, you know, to supplement with this. So I just don't have this. This is what I mainly use. Uh, Grubhub is my bread and butter. So. And I've been pretty much enjoying it. And so I want you guys to be able to have that opportunity as well. And that's why I'm telling you all about this. So now on this map with the regions, uh, now you notice there's some colored area, colored squares. What those are is they represent, you know, or they show like on a, depending on a certain time of the day, like let's say, you know, afternoon, evening or morning. So what it will show is the like on average what it is likely how busy it is typically within that certain day and time you know of course that's what it is so the red means it's busy so somewhere you know as you see in this red over here it is usually busier than all the other areas but on you know of course for that evening it's busy it's busier now it could be changing in the afternoon it might be more orange or yellow the so the the yellow or the no colored areas means that it's not as busy typically on average for that day so uh so the hot so it's kind of a hot spot it gives you the indication but it's not always too accurate so don't rely on it too much um so yeah so you want to make sure you are in your area don't stay outside in order to get deliveries and you might actually be kicked off of your block if you go outside so please avoid that okay now we're going to be going to settings right here so profile push notification so Highly encourage you to have those notifications on so that because you're going to need to know when you get a new delivery, you want to be notified, you don't want to miss a delivery that will cause that can cause you to lower get your acceptance rates down if you're not getting notified properly. And so, and I know that you might be asking, Well, I don't want to use data. Well, let me tell you something if you're going to be doing food delivery, I you're going to pretty much need unlimited data because you're going to be using your smartphone a lot, especially with these new phones, uh, these new generation ones, they use a lot more data than your iPhone four and five. So yeah, you're going to have to have unlimited. And if you can afford it, that's, that's wonderful. If you can't, then I don't know what to tell you. Um, so make sure to have push notifications on that way you're notified and make sure to not have the phone on silent, but make sure you have it on, you know, allows you to like on the same, you know, outside of silence. So you'll be able to hear, um, you know, your, as if you hear your phone ringing, uh, make sure to have it there to ensure that you can hear any deliveries that come up now. Okay. Going back to setting. Okay. And so this is a navigation app. Now it gives you the option to use 
the maps, like let's say if you have like, you know, an iPhone, uh, use Apple Maps, you can use Google Maps. I usually stick with Google Maps because I'm more used to that. And then um, you can use Waze uh, and it's not installed on this phone, but I know a lot of people that have Waze. If you, if you love it so much, hey, you get to use uh, this integrated onto this app. And then there's some driver perks, you know, of course, on here. And just privacy policy terms of use, all that kind of stuff. Um, now the help section right here. So there's a frequently asked questions and this is kind of helpful if you have any questions or if there's something, uh, you know, you have any, you have questions about, you're curious to kind of know, this is not something I totally rely on. And so oftentimes if I have a question, uh, I just contact driver care about current deliveries and this is a number that shows up. It will call that number. And so, and then once you're able to speak to somebody, it's They're going to have your name they're going to know it's you. So uh, it's not like you have to say, hey, and I have to ask your name, I get your number. Maybe every so often they do that, but usually don't have to do it. So, and then talking about payments, of course. Uh, usually these, you'll send sends an email through the app. And so, bags of other equipment, schedules, technology problems, yeah, something else. So, um, it's not set up on this phone, but these are those are just uh, a few things. Um, so, yeah, so. With Grubhub, of course, uh, as they said, you don't have to schedule a block uh, in order to be able to get a delivery. But if you're on a block, you're a whole lot likelier to get a delivery. And so and depending on what your program level is, that will determine when you can get get a assign a block to your future schedule for the upcoming week. And so and. There's a lot of drivers that want to push to get that premiere because of that. I and mean, that's understandable. Though it's going to require you to accept a lot of orders. I'm talking about almost every other order. And so that's where you got to kind of ask the question. Now, there'll be times where, you know, you got to ask yourself, is it acceptable to accept this order based on the distance and how much money you're going to typically make? And so now we're going to talk a little bit about that. Um, so one thing I want to show you guys is... Uh, some stuff you should be getting from Grubhub when you first start. So these are your Grubhub, uh, you know, materials. So these are your bags that usually will come with. Looks like this. This is like this. If you've done Grubhub for a while, you probably didn't get these bags at first. Um, your Grubhub cap, your bags, and then you also your sign that you can put on your windshield. And then there's even stickers too. <laughs> uh, if you like to show that, it's not required. All, all these are not required with the exception of the bag. Now. Unlike all the other delivery uh, platforms with Grubhub, they're very strict on this is to make sure you have your bag with you as you enter the restaurant. That way, and in some cases, it's even recommended to have your Grubhub shirts as they give you that way so they can easily identify you. But it's not a, not been a big problem with me, but just make sure to have your bag because it's in, it's in the you know, contract that you can be deactivated if you don't bring in your bag or the restaurant could refuse to give you your order. Um, and this is one of the older bags they gave me, of course. Um, but either way, make sure to have your bag. And then when you get a delivery request, uh, this is how your maps will look like. And it will show you the restaurant. It will show you the, or how many orders are there. And then it'll show you your total amount that you will receive guaranteed for completing that delivery. And then if you want to complete the delivery, you hit accept offer button. If you don't want to do it. Just say, hey, you know, screw that. I'm going to hit reject offer. And so why not? And then, of course, these are just another one. And then now, like this one, as you see here, like this is a typical one you'll get. Now, the other ones, I, I one I showed you right here, you see the green, you see a person in the green background over there and over there. And so uh, mo that happens sometimes. But most times, you like, you're going to be getting delivery to go to one customer, but you'll get two deliveries you know, going to, from the same restaurant to go to two different customers. And it'll show you that on the map. If it shows two customers on the map, that means you're going to be getting two deliveries from the restaurant. And that could be a really good thing. So you can just get one trip from the restaurant and you can do a route to go to customers. So that's one of the cool things. And so, um, so make sure to hit the accept button. If you want to if complete delivery, if you don't want to do it, just hit the reject offer button. Now, if you reject orders, that does accept your affect your acceptance rate. So just be aware of that. Um, and so that's about it. Um, if you have any other questions, feel free to contact me. Otherwise, you have a good one and good luck Grubhubbing, okay?